Hi, I'm Danny Brown with Myriad at My Home Group, and I thought it would be a good idea to do a 2018 market update. We're just now finishing up the first quarter of this year, and I have Garrett Sergvenik with me and John Emmons. Uh, they are both lenders and have been doing it for a really long time. So I thought we would chat a little bit about where the market is, kind of where we're going, uh, specifically to mortgage rates. Um, so tell me, you know, where are rates at now? Where were we? Little history behind it. Rates are high. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. They are on the climb, you know, and they're going to continue to climb throughout the year. Is the projection? Um, you know, to give you an idea, this time 60 days ago, they were probably about three quarters of a percent less. It's a lot. Which is a lot, fast. you know, and, and fast. So, you know, now is the time to definitely get into a mortgage. Definitely look at a refinance if it's something that you're you're interested in, and definitely look at buying if that's you know the route you want to go. Ever since the mortgage crisis, the government has actually been keeping rates artificially low to help spur the economy. So um, we've seen them start to pull back from that now as the economy has recovered. And so that's why we've seen steady increases in interest rates. But over the last 60 days, as he said, it's just been a very fast uh, increase in rates. And it is projected to continue as they've already announced that they plan to continue to raise rates throughout the rest of the year. So it's definitely a good time to look into doing it now for sure. So the new Fed chair that that, that we have is more a lot more aggressive than the previous. Does that have something to do with kind of why we're seeing rates kind of where they're at? Absolutely. We're definitely going to see some hikes down the road. And I think more than what was originally expected. The first projection was that we were going to have four rate hikes throughout the year, but we've already seen two in the first quarter. And so I think we're going to see even more than the four that was originally planned. Um, nobody obviously knows what's going to happen down the road, but I would say, you know, if I was a betting man, I would bet on rates continuing to climb and climb at a fast pace until they really level off. What do you foresee rates leveling off at? Well, you know, when I was in the industry back in 2006, um, typical mortgage rates were between 6 and 7%. You know, people that were well qualified, well, well qualified, great credit scores got a 6% interest rate, maybe a high five. So I think that is typically where, you know, where the market sits. Um, and I think as the economy continues to strengthen, you know, people have more money to put towards a mortgage and, you know, they're, they're going to have to do so. So it's really interesting. I've never gone through uh, an economy where rates were as low as they were and then have started increasing. I've only known an economy where rates were artificially low when it comes to real estate. And I was under the impression that as rates would go up, we'd probably see less buyers and less activity in the real estate market. And what I'm finding and also what I'm researching is that that's the complete opposite, that this has happened in history before. And what we see is uh, a fear of missing out. Uh, we see a lot of buyers entering the market because they want to take advantage of the low rates while they can. Um, have you guys seen kind of an increase in uh, mortgage activity to kind of support that? There's a, definitely a fear of missing out factor um, that comes in, in times like this. And so you'll see people that want to get into homes, which makes all the sense in the world at a time like this where we're expecting them to continue to rise. But um, on the refinance side, it's definitely slowed down, obviously, sure. because of rates going up. So there's kind of a give and take with that. But it's certainly still a great time, you know, to buy a house. Obviously, we're talking about, oh, rates are super high, but, you know, they're still historically Low. Super low. So affordability is still very, very good. That really won't get affected unless rates jump up even higher. So it's still honestly a really, really good time to purchase yeah. a home. And finally, do you foresee interest rates coming back down anytime soon? I don't. Um, you know, I think we saw rates at a low point for a long time, and there's no reason for them to come back down. You know, as the economy strengthens, you know, you're, you're going to see them continue to climb until we hit a point where they have to come back down, where affordability is just you know, it's not pot, like people can't buy the homes that, that are needed. And, you know, we start getting a surplus of inventory. Um, and, you know, that's when the rates will start to fall a little bit. But, I mean, we saw low rates for nine years. You know, it could be another nine years before they come down again. Sure. So, again, you know, when we hear people saying, I'm going to wait till they come back down, that's the wrong way to approach it. Oh, very interesting. So, basically, the lesson is if you're ready to buy a house, even if maybe you're a little bit premature, Now's a really good time to do it. Rates are still low uh, historically, but they're just gonna continue to go up. Thank you guys for joining us, uh, appreciate it. That's kind of just a, a, quick, a quick market update for 2018, and thank you guys very much.